So, Sergio, I'll just start with you. Um, being here at the inaugural Crash and Learn, um, what did you come here anticipating and what did you get out of it? Uh, so, I came here as a future flight provider I'm looking to get into. I'm currently a critical care nurse on the ground. I want to get into the HEMS environment. I came here to get some education and uh, to be honest, unsurprisingly I found much more than that. I found a great group of people uh, that were attending, that um, a real camaraderie here uh, that I don't think I found anywhere else and the, uh, the great group of guys that put on, and gals, that put on the conference, um, very knowledgeable. Uh, put on a fantastic conference and uh, definitely made it a very welcoming environment for everybody of all um, education levels. What was the favorite class that you took here? They had a very good um, group of speakers. There was uh, five gentlemen who had been in a crash both on aircrafts and on ground units, and they shared their stories. It was very, um, it was very moving, very powerful. It definitely gives you a different perspective. In the HEMS environment, uh, they're very into safety. Uh, that's that's paramount. That's number one. But hearing those stories firsthand, of both when safety was taken as the paramount and when it wasn't, definitely gives you a perspective that you could take with you for the rest of your career. Absolutely. So, Zach, you came here to crash and learn. Mm -hmm. What what did you anticipate when you came here? I mean, to be completely honest, I I anticipated I anticipated a lot. So, like, I I'm very new to Hems. I just started in like in May, and I was expecting just to go to like a lot of classes and learn. But what really surprised me was kind of like what Sergio said, the camaraderie that we had and the friendships that we built. We already made. A, a Facebook group <laughs> for a bunch of us, but um, that the learning is what I expected the most. Obviously, I already gained a lot from the learning, but I, I think what I was most pleased with was general life lessons, mm -hmm. like that goes outside of Hems, and also the just the friendships and relationships that, that we built here with everybody around us. Absolutely. Um, so what is the favorite class that you took here? My favorite was actually the, the, gosh, the concepts of like learning critical care. Um, I know I butchered the name, but that was honestly my favorite. It was kind of like a, a different turn on everything. It wasn't directly on the clinical path of learning, but it, it kind of goes more in depth on how to study and retain information better. And it's, you know, after, after like a single training session, which we all go through and you know we we have it pretty down quick immediately after but then you have like your degradation in what you've learned over time and it's the lessons on like how you can maintain that and keep it up and you don't forget it and you can remember that like years down the road as long as like you actually do the the upkeep that goes with it which i actually you know isn't necessarily just hems related but in life but i think it benefits me the most especially as a new provider in this field Absolutely. And what is your level of training? Um, I'm a medic, okay. uh, New Jersey paramedic. I've been a medic for about six years, and I just started um, my flight program in New Jersey. In uh, I think I got on the helicopter in June. Okay. So. Um, what is the most surprising thing here that you have have found? Again, I think it's the camaraderie and, and the friendships that we built. Absolutely. Because again, obviously I expected to learn, but like I didn't expect all of us to like create such a tight knit relationship and honestly just have a, such a good time with each other while also learning like our, our passions. It, it, was, it was good. It was actually, it was great. Where do you see yourself in the future? Do you see yourself coming back to Crash and Learn and like recruiting Absolutely. other people to come back? Absolutely. I, if I, if it's possible, I'd like to come back every single year, as long as they have it every year. That'd be, that'd be great. Um, I also have already talked to like my, my colleagues and friends and coworkers at home. Um, I'm encouraging anyone that I can to come because it was honestly, it was a fantastic experience and it was only beneficial. From the relations that we made, the lessons that we learned, all the classes that we took and gaining other people's perspectives and experience, it is it's only a positive experience. And I want 
I, like pretty much everyone I, I know to like have that same experience. All right, first for Zach and then for Sergio. Um, did you find the, the idea that you're gonna be camping and off the grid and there's no showers and there's no electricity, um, did you find that to be daunting or was that something that enticed you? Enticing. It's, <laughs> I mean, I, obviously he's gonna answer too. We both love camping. I love camping so much. I love the outdoors, I love the mountains. So as soon as I, I was told that this is gonna be like a HEMS conference that's at a campsite and it's gonna be kind of like off the rails of like your typical norm conference, I was absolutely into it and I wanted to, to come as much as possible. Awesome, what about you Sergio? The camping is definitely what enticed me. Uh, I love camping, me and Zach are friends, we try to go camping pretty regularly. Um, I definitely packed for a completely off the grid kind of conference, no electricity, nothing. Um, I do have to say, uh, I am Ed and the Heavy Lies the Helmet crew did a really fantastic job with prepping everything that we could have anticipated. They gave us a great campsite, uh, anything that we might not have been able to take on planes, uh, as uh, on luggage, they provided for us and they, they definitely picked a fantastic, beautiful campground for us to have a really great weekend at. I agree completely with all of the things that you guys said. Um, and I think the survivor stories for me, <clears throat> the survivor stories was one of my favorite things. It was the most impactful. Um, it was also probably the hardest for me. Um, that and um, hearing the stories of one of our, um, our colleagues who shared his own story with um, mental health challenges and how this stuff drags on us. I mean, I, I've been a paramedic for over 20 years and I've been a nurse for over 10 years. And this stuff really weighs on us and we need to learn how to, how to be healthy in that. And this has been a big step for a lot of us, I think, to be able to come together and find young people who are like just getting into this and, and to be able to, not just to, to be able to, to like feed off of your energy. And like I'm energized to go back home and, and try to figure out what my next steps are. And, um, and I think that's really been the most impactful for me is like finding all of you guys. And like you said, the camaraderie, the friendships, the, the sitting around the campfire and telling the stories. And even though the stories are hilarious, there's sometimes, there's often very good learning lessons out of them. So, um, and I think that has been, that's been my absolute favorite was like, just to have the energy of all of, all of you young guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A mentor of mine told me uh, a lesson learned is a lesson shared, Absolutely. and that has definitely been uh, this weekend. I, I do have to say I'll give it up to the guys uh, that put this on. They, they made it both beneficial for our patients, uh, our teams, and the, the provider themselves. Yeah. There's a very big emphasis on mental health on education uh, for your own clinical practice and safety on, on any vehicle that you're on, aircraft or ground unit. Absolutely. So.